So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the drive speed on the other three drives. We did this drive here in the previous video down at the bottom. So I've got the drives connected. Uh, I've got the MECC system inspector disk in. Let's go ahead and boot the machine. that uh, the, the door latch on this drive is slightly out of adjustment and causes issues. Uh, the speed test, the speed, drive two. And let's bring him down to 299. I'm actually going to go down to 298 and then bring it up slightly. So if anything, we're kind of on the low side of 299. I consider that good. Let's power off here. Get the next drive set up. I've been in and out of these drives a whole bunch of times here. Hopefully this will be the last time for a while. That's on correctly and oriented correctly. The cable's awfully short. Should be able to boot again. Just drive test. Drive speed slot 2. Bring it down. And again, I'm going to go down to 298 and bring it up just a tad. So I'm on the low side of 299. So we seem to be good there. I'm sure it's not easy on this power supply or the Apple II to be turning it on and off, on and off, on and off like this. The final drive. My favorite of the four because this is the oldest. Predates the RFI stuff. That's on correctly. Get him in slot six. Do the machine here again. Drive speed, drive speed, slot two. Let's bring him down to 299. Again, I'm going to go down to 298 and then back up a bit. Uh, that looks good to me. really should be it. Uh, so, you know, I thought I'd capture that on video. Uh, nice short video, uh, and we'll talk soon.